Hi, I'm Claire from The Study Gurus. In this video, you'll learn how to use your study notes once they're written. Because once you've put in all the long hours of actually making your study notes, they can still be an incredibly helpful tool right up to the hour before you walk into the exam. So we're talking about the time when exams are pretty close, like only either a few days away or but hopefully maybe a couple of weeks away. When your study notes are well on their way or even complete, but you know, there's a lot there that you can use. So once they're in this fully formed or almost fully formed stage, you can keep putting them to good use. The first thing we like to do with our study notes once they're fully written is rewrite them. But don't worry, we're not saying just rewrite them all over again. We mean rewrite them in a consolidated form. So we take our full formed, pretty stuff going on everywhere study notes and we turn them into really much more succinct bullet points or shorthand that only you could possibly ever understand. The purpose of this exercise is to drill down into the key points of every topic that you need to know for an exam. It gets rid of all of the extra stuff that's nice to know but not crucial to know, and what you end up with is a really succinct set of study notes that contain just the key things, and you can use this document when you're you know, just got a little bit of free time, you can glance over it and you're like, yes, these are all of the key things I need to know about photosynthesis or, you know, covalent bonds or whatever it is. So not only do you end up with this really awesome, succinct document with all of your key points, going through that process of consolidating your study notes is what really consolidates everything that you've studied. Of course, writing that first full set of study notes is absolutely crucial, but you will take your study to the next level if you go through this process of consolidating it. I'd say this is one of the key things that helped Chris and I get really good marks in exams. It takes you from being someone who, yeah, I know what's going to be in the exam and I can probably answer most of it to, I really know my stuff, nothing you can do is going to take this information out of my brain, I am ready. The other thing you can do with your study notes is simply to refer to them all the way in the lead up, up to your exam. They've got so much information in them and it's information that you have processed and put down in your own words and in your own terrible diagrams that you may as well make the most of that because you know that's where all your knowledge is, it's on this page in front of you. What we really like to do is say before you go to bed after a night of studying in the lead up to exams is just to read over them. And even if you feel like it's still a lot of information and you don't think that you're remembering it or retaining all of it, your brain will be taking in a lot more of that information than you realize. So this third video kind of wraps up our three-part overview about the awesomeness of study notes and how to make them and how to use them. But if there's anything else you want to know about study notes or anything we do when we're making study notes or any question you have, please leave it in a comment below. If you've liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and we'll see you next time.